The upcoming project is going to take content from a spreadsheet and I'm also going to show you how I output the content from the spreadsheet in a web app. It's going to provide a URL where we've got the content presented from the spreadsheet and then we're going to take that URL, create a web app that's going to dynamically take that content and generate an interactive web application. So we've got an index page, we've got a little bit of styling, and of course the main focus is JavaScript. So there's the web app URL, we're picking up the data, and then we're constructing our fun interactive game with the data coming out of the web application. So this is the project that we're going to be building in this section. What it's doing is it's loading all of the questions. You can see all of the content there that's being loaded within the console log. It tells the user how many questions, which question they're on. It asks the question and presents possible options. So this is randomized. So every time it loads, the order of the options is going to be different. So there's one right answer, the rest are wrong answers. So what color is the ocean? Select blue. We see it's correct. Move to the next question. So you click that to move to the next question. Question number two out of four. Do you like JavaScript? And I know you like JavaScript, so the answer to this one, of course, is yes. And you also see that we're presenting some data within the console as we're debugging and building the application. So again, correct. I'm going to say a wrong one. So you see it does detect it as being wrong and also one more wrong answer. So once the game is over, it gives us a final score. It tells us the game is over. All of this is what we're going to be covering, how to build an application just like this from scratch using JavaScript and getting the data from a Google spreadsheet. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know within the Q&A section of the course. I'd love to hear from you. I know you're excited to get started, so let's dive right in and start building out this application from scratch.